What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And as always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So this is my brand new LTR that I got just uh, about a week ago or so. I bought it from Ben Built For You. Go ahead and check out his Instagram and YouTube channel. He did a super in-depth video going over basically everything there is to go over on this particular quad. But as you can see guys, this actually belonged to Dustin Wimmer. Ben got it from him several years ago. I contacted Ben and I ended up buying it, which has been honestly a complete dream come true. Now I wanted to make this video because there aren't really a lot of videos like this out there showing the factory bikes what they had back then. I'm assuming just because there aren't many factory LTRs out there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over a lot of like the major points. Like I said, if you want the specifics, go ahead and check out Ben's channel. I'm gonna go ahead and link that, but it's definitely a really good video. It's about 30 minutes long and he covers just about absolutely everything. But before we get into that, I wanted to kind of explain to you guys where this all came from. So a lot of you guys know me for the cars. The Corvette's not here today, but I'm a huge car guy and it seems kind of random that I have one of the baddest quads they ever made. But the reason for this is before I got into cars, I was actually really big in ATV motocross. And I actually had an LTR back in 08. I got it brand new when I was 16. I wanted to go ahead and build basically this exact bike. And it's not something that the typical 16 year old could do. I didn't have the funds necessary to do so. And a lot of the parts on this are, you know, things that only the factory riders could get. So when I saw this, I immediately jumped on it. And this is something that I absolutely had to buy. Now back then I had that LTR. I went ahead and I sold it for, believe it or not, that car right there. That's my fully built SRT4. But yeah, I mean, these really started it all, but I wanted to get back into, you know, riding again and here we are. Now in this video, I do want to go over all the bigger parts and pieces of this thing. Like I said, Ben did an amazing job going over all the specifics, but I'm going to just show you guys kind of like a quick walkthrough. I'm going to go ahead and start it and let's get this thing going. All right guys, so up front we have the Pro Armor Pro Am Series front bumper. Unfortunately, Pro Armor doesn't really make ATV parts anymore to my understanding, but this is what they used back then. You got a precision steering stabilizer in there. The JB Racing A-Arms, of course, with the huge heim joints. These things are absolutely enormous. They've got the team brake lines, Fox shocks, of course. Now, I haven't ridden this very many times, but it rides like an absolute dream. It's amazing how well these Fox shocks work. You got the Quad-Tech beak. And the cool thing about this, I'm not sure if I can get this on video or not, but it does come with the factory ECU. So to my understanding, that is one of the more rare parts on here. They didn't make that many of them or there aren't many in existence anymore, but this quad does have it. Something cool also is a radiator shroud. So these actually come off of a competitor's dirt bike. I'm not sure what brand they are or what dirt bike they came off of, but it's kind of nice. It keeps rock and mud and all that from getting stuck on your radiator. Moving over to the side, Pro Armor again. That was the big sponsor for this team. They got the Pro Armor Nurse that weren't available for the public. Now they did make a set that was pretty similar to this, but they didn't have like basically this section here. They look a little bit different. These are longer and wider. Yoshimir, of course, did the motor. It's got Dustin's cam in it, and it was a little bit different than what Kramer ran. But he said that these heads are like $12,000, which is absolutely crazy. The amount of money that Team Suzuki put in this project is nuts, and that's why they're so dominant. Something that Ben did that I'm a huge fan of is he put these carbon fiber protectors on the frame. So they're pretty thick material. It basically makes it to where you don't screw up your frame and scratch it all up. The pegs on this thing too are pretty crazy. I forgot about the Fox podium in the back, which you guys can see right there. It's got Max's Razor Cross up front with the Douglas Rockout wheels, and then the Razor MX tires in the rear with the Douglas beadlock. They're uh, 18 by 10 by eight, pretty standard size. Moving on to the back, it's got the Dominator 2 axle, which is basically what everybody runs. The exhaust is a full titanium RS5. Now this exhaust is actually a little bit longer than the other ones that you could buy. You can see how far it sticks out. On the other Yoshimir exhaust, they're a little bit shorter, but because of the AMA rules, they had to follow a certain decibel guideline. So to quiet them down, they made them a little bit longer, but it did eliminate the tail light in the back. Thus inside the number one plate in the back. That's pretty neat. So his seat, of course, has his name on it and then the number one plate. The same thing with the graphics. They got the number one plate and then Wimmer, of course. You got the Yoshimira Kickstarter. Now something I didn't realize until Ben showed me was the header is completely different. So if you look, it's got this notch right here, which extends it out and it comes out a little bit farther. The ones that the public could buy just made an immediate turn from here over. Hinson clutch, which uh, honestly feels pretty stock. It does bite a little bit harder, but all in all, I mean, it doesn't really ride any differently that I can notice at least. Yeah, guys, that's basically it. So 
You can see the plastics here. It's in relatively good shape. I mean, you've got a couple little scuffs. They're probably not gonna come up on camera, but all in all, it is a super clean bike. Now the steering stem, Dustin ran a titanium JV steering stem that was standard height, but I believe it was an inch forward. This is the stock one. This is one of the two things that I'm missing. I'm missing that, and then I'm missing the titanium hubs in the back. So I'll talk about this also, but I'm missing the hubs, I'm missing the steering stem, and it doesn't have the JB swing arm. And the reason for that is when Team Suzuki kind of killed the project, Dustin privateered for that next season. So to save a little bit of money, he went with the stock swing arm, only weighs a little bit more. Now realistically though, I'm probably not missing out on much of anything. It's not something that me being just an amateur rider would even notice, but those are, to my knowledge, the only things that I am missing. But yeah, all in all, I mean, this is the real deal. It's uh, extremely fast. I was told it makes around 61 horsepower, which is absolutely incredible, and it doesn't weigh barely anything. It's got the Pro Armor kill switch here with a little tether. And I think that's basically about it. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment down below. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get it started up and uh, tell me what you guys think. And there you have it guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below what you think and uh, maybe I'll do another video. But as always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.